it's time for an apartment tour. As a 30 something who's not a gajillionaire, I live in a one bedroom, I live by myself. I have been on YouTube for a year and I have never done an apartment tour and I feel like it's time. One bedroom in New York City, you ready? Friends, if you're new here, my name is Katherine Quinn. I am a 30-something living in New York City. I work on Broadway shows. Last year, I worked on How to Dance in Ohio and Shucked, as well as The Great Gatsby at Paper Mill Playhouse and some regional shows. This year, I'm working on The Great Gatsby and some other things that I can't talk about just quite yet. But if you hit that subscribe button, I promise this community is always the first one to know. I have been on YouTube for a year and I have never done an apartment tour and I feel like it's time. I live in a one bedroom. I live by myself just some of the basic facts. I have a dog who is not here at present. My dog is with my partner at the moment and I haven't staged the apartment for you. So you are getting like the way I live as a 30 something who's not a gajillionaire, you know, self-funded one bedroom in New York City. All right, I'm gonna show you around. what you see when you first enter the apartment. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is my least favorite part of the apartment. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm obsessed with my jungle wallpaper and I'm obsessed with my orange wallpaper in the kitchen. However, comma, this space, I don't feel as well used. So this is my entryway. It's what would be a dining, but you can tell is obviously just shoe storage. So if you happen to be an interior decorator who is very, very good with maximizing space, someday I will renovate my kitchen in this entry space and put in a ton of built-in storage which in New York is always sorely missing. But yeah, this is just my basic little entryway. I have a cute little entry table that I use for keys and Feeny stuff, and that's about that. But over here is one of my favorite things about the apartment. You ready? Welcome to my voiceover booth. This is sound absorption, more sound absorption, more acoustic mat mats and my whole setup. I usually spend at least an hour a day in here. I am a full-time voice actor and it was super important to me that I have a space where I could do my full-time job. Previously I was building like pillow forts and blankets over my head and all that stuff but it is totally padded with acoustic padding. It's got a mat down on the floor and above I've got suitcase storage. <laughs> A thrill. You know, it's New York City. I told you that you were going to get a real life tour. Okay. So kitchen belongs to the section of my apartment that is my least favorite. Again, someday she'll be renovated, but here she is. Let me go to wide land. Okay. So this is your real life New York City kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. She is weak. She is so small. The refrigerator is obviously not counter depth. I inherited this refrigerator. I bought this apartment in 2020, six weeks before the world shut down. And if you're like, whoa, you bought an apartment in the city money. I saved voiceover money and I feel good about that. And also in terms of New York City apartments, this is like about as cheap as you can get a one bedroom. And I'm so grateful. I think it's an incredible value. I love my neighborhood. I love this unit. I love this building. I have a part-time doorman. Like it's changed my whole life. But in terms of like New York City real estate, She's living on the cheap. Okay, um, but all things are relative, you know? I'm very, very grateful. Okay, so I hate it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Here's lunch, a thrill. I, I'm just like, this isn't, this is just open storage. This is Plant City. Trying to get them as much light as I possibly can while it is winter time. Oh, gotta reset that. Cute, love it. This is all cuter than it was. The countertops were brown. The cabinets were brown. The kitchen, I think, was like a mustard yellow. I'll see if I can find photos and throw them up here. So it's an improvement, but I hate cooking in here. And I love cooking to the point where I was, I just spent a month in Florida. My girlfriend was like, oh, like, are you ordering lots of food? I was like, no, I'm cooking every meal. And they were like, what? Because historically in New York, I don't do that. One, because I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off for the past year. Uh, if you're interested in what it's like being an assistant on Broadway, I'm gonna put a video up there so you can get a taste. Anyway, I don't like cooking in here, which is a shame because I do love to cook. Here's my thought eventually is that I will take this wall out and make like put a square in it to lead into the living room or something, or I'll extend the kitchen out into the living space, which I also shared with you, I'm not happy with. So something needs to happen 
I'm very open to suggestions. If your brain works this way, I will happily take your suggestions. Okay, let's show you cuter things. You wanna get at the cuter part of this face? Let's go. All right, friends, this is a view that should be somewhat familiar to you because you're basically where-ish my camera sits when I record videos. So this is my living space. This is where I spend 95% of my waking hours at my apartment. I sometimes make it to the couch and when I'm hosting, I love hanging out in this space. And obviously everyone's seen these by now, but this is a frame TV, which I love because I feel like it doesn't look egregious in the gallery wall. Most of the time, and I told y'all, I didn't, I didn't tidy up for you, so this is real life, how Catherine Quinn lives. You ready? Five, six, seven, eight. This is the command center where I spend almost all of my time I am completely obsessed with this space. What do I tell you even about this space? I've got like some of my mantras. My favorite one is I'm not on that committee. I have my daily routine up there that I need to re for the coming month. I of course have various memorabilia from shows that I've worked on. Tootsie's up there. Hercules in the park lives there. Got some of my shucked items here. <laughs> my masters. <laughs> got so much fun that I haven't even like gotten to put away all of my Ohio stuff yet. My opening night gifts. Little investing shelf. Where are my West Wing fans? Where y'all at? CJ, show these people out. I believe we can find the door. Find it now. All the photos in here are photos I have taken over the years on travels. Does anybody know this game Masterpiece? This was another thing I got from my grandmother when she passed because I loved this game. And like any good millennial, I have so many portraits of my dog. He is a theme in this apartment. I'm not sorry. This is just like where the magic happens, as they say. It's just where I work all day long. And I just got a walking pad like every other human under the sun so that I can walk while I am over here. My favorite sneaky thing about this area, however, even though I don't use it as much as I should, I had all of this custom built and I designed it myself and worked with a contractor who let me sort of like make all that happen. But I play keys and it's got a super sneaky little keyboard up in here that uh, dust is flying off of because I don't play it enough. I don't play it enough. All right, let's make our way back. This is Christmas storage, which I do not need to show you. This is more storage in here, which I also do not need to show you. Here's my little bathroom. Very little to report about this space. You know, it's a New York City bathroom. She's little. Someday we'll receive a renovation, but she's okay for now. Shower, need to redo this. That's that. A bathroom, we love it. Let's go to the bedroom. reading nook in my bedroom brings me so much joy. I added this. There's a <laughs> New York City. That's a dog crate that I built in underneath. If you're a dog owner, I'm gonna let you guess how often he sleeps in there. Not at all. He doesn't sleep in there. He sleeps in the bed like the little prince that he is. And he's tiny and somehow takes up the whole bed. So, you know, cool. Anyway, I love this space. It makes me so happy. I used to read books in here and then work really happened. And I also had a moment, I don't know, I go through in and out of phases of being good about meditating and this was my meditation spot. Maybe one of my goals this year should be spending more time in my sweet little reading nook. I love it. Makes me very happy. Classic millennial with her Harry Potter shelf. Some old photos of my grandmother. Make me very happy. I love that I have a Hudson River view out my window. It's not, you know, unobstructed, but I still think it's pretty and it makes me so happy. And then to the right of the reading nook is my vanity. And I know, I know, look at all those products. I have object permanence issues. Everything sort of has to be out. Oh my God, it's very embarrassing. But I love my little vanity. More storage up there that I had built in. So none of this, none of this existed when I bought the place. So these were also ideas I dreamt up and worked on my contractor with and scrappily put together. But I love my little vanity. Hi, I have his and hers closets, but I'm just a hers. Yet another thing that someday I'll renovate. I'll close this gap right here and then make this one closet, put lights and storage and all that stuff because 
Honestly, it's poorly used space at the moment. Before I lived in this apartment, I went from having four to six roommates at any time to two to three roommates at any time. This is the first time I've lived by myself. Like I said, I got it in 2020, so I've been here four years. Wow. And so as I was setting this place up, I just wanted it to be like, I mean, I have no intention of moving <laughs> for I don't know how long. And even if I decide someday to get a bigger place or if I, I have no idea what is in my future, like 10, 15 years from now, I think I will always keep this unit because I think it's just like the city is so nuts. When you find a magical little spot in the city, you want to hold on to that magical little spot for dear life. And I feel that way about this place. So anyway, I put in little tweaks and special things like my projector because I don't know, you know, I was always a renter and it was like an opportunity to make the space uniquely mine. So that's my crib. That's the space. Very New York in that every single nook and cranny is packed full of stuff. And I gotta tell you, like, if anyone's a home organization whiz and wants to help, let me know, because that is not my forte. It isn't. All right, I'm gonna eat some lunch and uh, wrap this up. But friends, thank you for joining me on this apartment tour. If you have questions about living in New York City or buying an apartment or renting an apartment here, I have now been here 10 years, so I can officially call myself a New Yorker. And I'm so happy to share any of that information with you. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I invite you to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at it's Catherine Quinn. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It lets the YouTube algorithm know what wonderful humans to send this video out to people like yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye.